The Senate is pushing for the removal of a two-month statute of limitation on the prosecution of rape offenders is contained in the Criminal Code Act. It endorsed a proposal that kidnappers should be jailed for life as against the provision of 10 years imprisonment in the existing law. This followed its consideration of a bill seeking to delete the statute of limitation on defilement and provide for life imprisonment for kidnapping in the Criminal Code Act. The bill, titled The Bill for an Act to Amend the Criminal Code to Delete the Statute of Limitation on Defilement, Increase in Punishment for the Offense of Kidnapping, Remove Gender Restrictions in the Offense of Rape, and for Related Matters 2019, is sponsored by Uluremi Tinubu, Senator representing Lagos Central. In her lead debate, the senator said the amendment being sought was meant to delete portions of sections 218 and 221 amends the definition of rape as contained in Section 357 and increased punishment for the offense of kidnap in Section 364. According to her, the globally accepted aims of criminal law and the criminal justice system include deterrence, retribution, restoration and rehabilitation of offenders. Senator Tinubu said the criminal justice system ought to deliver substantial justice and closure to the victim, the offender and the state. The senator noted that with the development and innovation in the forensic technology and the accessibility or otherwise of such infrastructure in Nigeria, rushing investigations in order to commence prosecution within two months would lead to errors. Senators supported the bill. The senator approved the bill that the bill be read for a second time when it was put to voice vote by President after Senator Ahmed Lawan. Joining us in the studio is a public affairs analyst to take a look at this development. Uh, he is um, Dr. Femi Ido Adegoke, public affairs analyst. Pleasure to have you join us. Good morning. What is your immediate reaction when you hear that there is now a register? Is this a good thing? Fantastic. Uh, my reaction, I was, ha I was happy. And um, it seems the government is listening to the people's yearning. Uh, because I remember a few weeks or months ago, we had issues of uh, uh, students, lecturers taking advantage of students. And then we, everybody was speaking about it. The people spoke out and then different organizations were asking for this uh, offenders list, sexual offenders list. And this is, for me, is a welcome development. This is done in the uh, save, uh, save our crimes around the world is the global practice. So I don't know why Nigeria should be different. And I'm glad what they've done. And that's supposed to be served as a form of deterrent. But the name and shame um, purpose behind yeah. the register that we have now, yeah. how relevant is it in this country considering our history with record keeping? Well, um, I'm going to tie that with what is being said in the Senate when you're reading the news. Uh, technology has to play a role now in keeping uh, records. And I, from the news, we heard that the director general of the agency had made it clear that it's going to be available online. So that means they are ready and they are willing to keep a proper database. So we might begin to see change in our record keeping. Do you see sustainability? Because we have this culture of one administration goes, another comes, and what do you think would be the long-term plan to ensure that this database is not only made available, but yeah. updated regularly with yeah. information of those yeah, um, individuals convicted? Yeah, that, that, that's very, very, very important. and uh, I, I think I agree with you. But there's a way we can go about it, because the law is they are amending the criminal uh, code. And as they are amending that, I, I think it's, it's, it's necessary to put in that this record must be updated. Somebody has that duty as a, as a, as a, as a, as a worker, and either it's fortnightly or either it's monthly or uh, quarterly, you have to be updating and you have to be on your, on your game. And if found wanting, the person should be punished as well. Okay, um, during the presentation of the bill, the senator talked about the removal of the statute of limitations, yeah. citing um, the fact that investigations might, there might be errors in investigation mm -hmm. if there is no adequate time yeah. for people to conduct investigation. Yes. Um, what's your take on that? I, I totally agree with them, and this is why they're there. 
as senators or as rep members to represent the people's interests. This is, for me, it's a no-brainer. This should be two months is too small. It's too, the, there can be any, uh, they, they can pervert the course of justice. Okay, well, but, but, but my worry with this is the, the transient nature of rape. Yeah. You know, it's almost like bang, then you don't, sometimes you don't, you have a lack of evidence at all the times you have. Doesn't that in itself restrict the duration or do we take into um, consideration the time that the victim speaks up? Yeah, that's, that's one. We have to take into consideration the, kind, uh, the time the victim speaks up because of our, the culture, the, uh, I don't want to say, you know, a lot of people go inward and they don't want to come out. And then it becomes an internal injury and then psychological. Then they, they, it takes time to get the courage to come out. So if we say within two months, so after two months, the person can speak out again. And it's, it's so, I, I think I agree, the time limit should be extended. And it gives people belief and trust in the system as well.